All right, so I thought I'd just do a quick video update um, to give you guys kind of a, a state of things with the project. Um, so this is the first uh, set of Melius boards that uh, I got back and I started to populate it. And uh, if you look closely here, uh, I this is where I changed to the EEPROMs and so we're not having to use the regular um, C64 uh, ROMs, the 24 pins, so these are all 28 pin EEPROMs. I have uh, 512k ROMs in here. And each has uh, jumper settings so that you can select uh, up to eight images here, eight images here, or up to 16 here on the character ROM. Why you'd have uh, 16 character ROM images, I'm not really sure. I'm sure someone will find a use for it. Um, so then uh, moving over here, we have the, uh, the bypass circuitry for the RF modulator. Now, um, I actually made a mistake on this one, and if you look close, you can probably spot it, but uh, I had the uh, emitter base collector uh, footprint all messed up because I reused a footprint from a previous uh, from a previous part when I created this one. So I, uh, yeah, I goofed on that, but that's, that's not a big deal. Uh, so overall the board works. So uh, when we turn it on, uh, you can tell it comes right up um, and my phone is doing a really horrible job at showing the display. It actually looks a lot better than uh, than what you see in the picture here, so sorry for that. But, um, so the cool thing is, is uh, we can, uh, now I have uh, the open ROMs from Mega 65 also on here, so we can switch the jumper here for basic. Okay. So now the uh, the open ROMs from Mega 65, uh, you have to match the type of ROM that you're loading. So you can't like do the uh, basic from uh, the open ROM and then do the kernel from the Commodore 64 because watch what happens when you try to uh, turn that on. They just don't match and uh, you get this. So that's, that's no good. So um, we're gonna go back and then uh, select also the second ROM image on the kernel chip. And then when we turn it on, it comes right up to uh, open ROM's generic build, right? So, and if you look, if you pay attention, check out the font, the way it looks now, okay? I also loaded their open ROM character ROM. So now we're gonna go in here and we're going to set the jumper to the second ROM image of the character ROM, and remember the character ROMs are all 4K a piece. Let's let this focus for a second. Okay, so the uh, characters are slightly different, so that's cool. All right, so it's it's like we have a, a different machine here running. So I didn't uh, I haven't soldered in the keyboard connector yet, so I'm not typing anything. Uh, uh, I haven't put the SID in, I haven't soldered on the cartridge connector. Um, all of these things, uh, I haven't, uh, I, also the IEC connector's missing. Uh, the uh, joystick connectors, I haven't soldered on. I know all of these work uh, because the circuitry for all of that, I haven't uh, done anything with. So the main areas that I actually concentrated on modifying were over here in the ROMs and then over here in the, uh, the ARF modulator section, okay? So you can also uh, not choose to uh, solder on all of these components and instead uh, you can just plug in your RF modulator if you choose to do so but I actually am getting a much clearer better picture with this than I ever have with the modulator so that's cool uh, let's see what else um, that's pretty much it so my uh, next uh, update that I'm working on now is I'm going to be replacing all of the RAM chips here with uh, basically just one SRAM module and it's going to be just built into the board and that is going to hopefully be through hole components because like I said I'm trying to keep this as easy to um, continue to uh, build as, as possible so once we start adding uh, SMD mount components it's just going to be you know harder for some people to put together and you know I, I don't I want to try to, to keep this as retro as possible. And I know SMD is, is still, I mean, it's retro, but it's not, uh, 
I don't know. It just feels wrong for me. I, I like surface mount stuff, but uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't want to see surface mount stuff on my Commodore board. So, anyway, uh, feel free to leave comments, questions, whatever. Uh, hoping not to make this too long, but it's already five minutes. So, anyways, uh, if you haven't yet, check out the Discord channel for news and updates and stuff. So, I'll talk to you guys soon.